Hey guys, so today I want to reflect on what I've learned from YouTube with only 243 subscribers and counting. So let's jump into it. So the first lesson that I learned is to just get started. Just get started, just do it. Take that idea to start your channel and just go ahead and jump right into it. I know that it is hard it was difficult for me to start and to just put myself out there like that because this is a very public forum there's a lot of opportunity for people to critique you and judge you when you barely even know what you're doing to start on your own as it is so I would just say just get started don't worry about thinking what people are gonna say or what happens if your first videos don't jump off. I mean, I've been doing this for a while now and I'm still looking to grow, but I have learned so much in the process that it's definitely worth it. So number one lesson learned, just get started, put yourself out there, just do it. So the second thing that I learned is to be your authentic self even if your videos are not that great to start. I know personally, I was still learning. I didn't have experience with video and lighting and sound and all of these things. So my first number of videos, quite a few, I was learning, but I wouldn't have learned if I hadn't gotten started and just did it. And so I was just being my authentic self, talking about things that I was passionate about, and just being me during the learning process so no matter what just be yourself be authentic to you the things that you're passionate about the things that you love and just get out there and practice and just do videos being you the third lesson learned is to learn from the pros learn from those who have already done this who have already made the mistakes who already have the knowledge because they've been at this longer and have had success so i love watching youtube i've loved watching youtube for years just on whatever topic it is that i'm interested in at the moment whatever it is that i want to gain knowledge on whether it be mommy life art design just all of the things that i love and I think that it's great, of course, to watch YouTube if you want to be a YouTuber, just so you can see how things work, how people put their videos together, and what's working for them. When I started my channel, I watched a lot of videos about how to start a YouTube channel, what it is that you need to do, the gear that you need to have, and all of the things. And I also attended a lot of digital marketing conferences, learning about being a content creator, being an influencer. I also joined a lot of content creator courses online from content creators who I look up to and who I love what they're doing with their channel. So definitely learn from the pros. They've done it. A lot of them are willing to share the information, through their digital courses and just their YouTube videos in general. So definitely take advantage of learning from them so that you don't have to make all the same mistakes and it doesn't take you as long because you can hear from them what it is that you can do to be more successful when you start your channel. The next lesson learned from YouTube is improving my skills. Just in general, I am definitely a learner i love to jump in learn new things and that's one of the things that i really love about youtube because i feel like it's kind of a challenge for me like i said i wasn't familiar with video and editing and all of those things so i had a little bit of experience with imovie in the past and i was pretty good at navigating that program with video editing so I started doing my channel and editing in iMovie, which was great, but it's always great to improve. And so as I started my channel, which I have a video about that as well, I switched over to Adobe Premiere Pro. And I feel that that program has just allowed me to elevate my editing skills and I can do so much more. There's so many different 
functions and options that you have within the platform. So while I do love iMovie as a starter editing program, um, I am just happy that I was able to improve my skills, switched over to another more advanced program. So definitely improve your skills um, talking in front of the camera, which I'm still getting familiar with. That's something that I didn't really do a lot previously to having the channel. And so the more that you shoot content, the more that you do videos, the better you're going to get, the more comfortable you're going to get in front of the camera with talking about what it is that you're presenting to your audience. So just getting out there, getting started, doing numerous videos are going to help you improve your skills the more that you do and the more editing that you do as well. So that leads me to the next lesson learned, which is getting the right gear. So I have a lot of videos about different cameras that I've purchased and that I've used, lighting and microphones and all the things. So I was not familiar with that. When I started out, I did have a camera, but I did a lot of things on my iPhone and I didn't have the right lighting. I had a little small ring light that I had won at an event that I went to, very small, very starter. But the good thing is that I used what I had. I got out there, I jumped into it. And as you do more, then you start to realize, okay, I'm seeing this person's video and I'm comparing it to mine. My lighting is off. Um, my video is not as crisp it's not as clear as I like I see some different blurriness happening my audio is not sounding the way that I need it to sound and so I was able to navigate okay this is what I need this is what I want for my channel this is how I want things to sound and so I've just been gradually getting new equipment and like I said learning from the pros and seeing what it is that they used, what they recommend, and you can see the content from looking at their channel. And so if you think that their audio sounds great, their video is clear, their lighting looks good, then a lot of times they even have it in their description, like what gear they're using. Or they usually have videos that talk about their gear, their setup for their studio, and all of that. So definitely getting the right gear is very important, an important lesson to learn through the YouTube process. But like I said from number one, just get started with whatever you have because you're gonna be in a learning curve in the beginning. So I think that it's okay to start with what you have if you can't afford to get the better camera and the better lighting, just get started with what you have get some experience, and then you can upgrade as you go. So the next lesson learned is discovering your passions. So discover what it is that you're passionate about. What do you like to do? What do you like to talk about? And just continue to practice. How can I present to an audience my passions? What kind of topics can I come up with around things that I love to do, I love to watch, I love to wear, and just practicing what you're passionate about and how to present that to an audience. So the next lesson learned is to use your creativity and share knowledge. Of course, that is what YouTube is all about. It's about connecting, it's about sharing information, like I just mentioned, the things that you're passionate about. So once you found out what are you passionate about, what do you like to do, what do you like in the world, what do you like to present? Then you can be creative, use your creativity and figure out how am I going to creatively present this to an audience? How am I gonna creatively share this with everyone? And I think that that just encompasses everything that we've talked about. It's about using your speaking skills, getting comfortable in front of the camera. It's about making sure that you have the right gear. And then of course, editing and coming up with some cool intros and graphics and words popping out because everybody likes to see things happening when they're watching a video. You know, of course, you're just kind of talking a lot of videos if you're just doing the talking head 
videos like this where you're talking to the audience sometimes it's good to just break it up put some words out there you know like i've done with all of these different tips highlight them with words coming across the screen and different graphics and this and that so it just makes it a little bit more exciting while people are watching just to break up the monotony and just be creative you know because everybody is going to be different what you like how you want to present the color scheme your font choices how you talk to the camera some people are really funny they come in with jokes so just be you like we mentioned earlier your authentic self your authentic personality just to present those passions and talk and share knowledge with your audience and connect with them so thank you guys so much i hope that this was helpful i hope that some of the lessons that i learned can now help you as you may be starting your content creator journey or in the middle of it like i am and like i mentioned i only have 243 subscribers but i know that with everything that i've learned and with more consistency this year that i am definitely going to grow this channel and thank you for helping me grow this channel to where it is today thank you guys see you next time